Hi, my name is Rory. Uh, I'm from England. My name is Eli. I come from Japan. My name is Alex. I am French. I am 22. My name is Solen. I'm from Canada. My name is Naru. Uh, Narumichi Miyamoto. Come from Japan. My name is Emily. I'm from the United States. My name is Jake, and I'm from England. My name is Wang and I come from China. Hello there, my name is Daniel and I'm from Wales, from the UK. My name is Sarah, I'm from France and I'm 30 years old. Hello, my name is Dave and I'm from Hong Kong. I'm Emery and I'm from London. I've come to Australia because instead of university I wanted to do something so I've just come sort of like a gap year. To have another life I have, uh, I haven't had before. The reason why I come here to Australia is to travel, to see the, the country and also to um, meet different cultures. I wanted to try something new, be a bit more independent. I want to run farm, farming also. It's very interesting. Lots of Australian friends I met in Canada so I wanted to um, come see them and hang with them in Australia I guess. Yeah. To improve my English because I finished my studies. I just thought Ireland's not a big place, you want to see the world, get out there, meet new people from different areas, different cultures, get to know what they like, what they do in their own country. The beach, the sand, the people, the sun. I was travelling New Zealand before this and I don't want to go home. So it's time for me to see Ocean, Ocean, Ocean News in French, I don't know in English. It's hard, it's harder than what I thought it'd be, but I'm getting through it. The heat is the worst thing, but it's going quite quick. It's just hard work. Hard work, nothing. You come, you go to work, do it. You go home, you take a rest, and you all refresh. And there's no stress here, all happy. Interesting. It's like nothing I've ever done before. Um, I think I'm breaking my back, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to get through it, hopefully. <laughs> the farm works not exactly what I expected. It can be very, very tough, both uh, physically and mentally. Um, I've worked on watermelon farms, I've done grape carting, grape picking, I've worked on a zucchini farm, I'm currently planting capsicums and watermelons and also picking them. And especially in the heat, it can be very hard on the body and it takes, uh, it takes quite a lot to get through the day, but um, you know, you, if you persist, you can, you can definitely do it. It's hard work, but there's a lot of people in the same boat. And work is good experience for me and for everybody, I think. Be strong more. For me, it's a good experience, but it's very hard. It's a bit hard, but you meet a lot of nice people, people from everywhere, and they help you to keep going. It's an absolute nightmare. It's really physically hard and also very mentally draining as well. Work is hard but I think you have to just get through it because you know you have to do the 88 days to get your second year. If you don't do them, you don't get your second year. A really, really good daydreamer. So like I always I'll always think of one of the main things I do is think about what I'm gonna do when I go home. So I've I've always got loads of ideas. So after Australia when I go home I wanna travel I really want to travel around the UK. I want to have just an extra year to get the West Coast done, do a bit of the Outback and the entire East Coast, so everything. I think to receive the salary. Food and music and talking to people and knowing that I'll get my visa. Money and to ask for elsewhere to travel. You know that after I can stay longer and people there run with me, so it's nice to keep going. It's taking my music to work, like listening to music really makes it easier. Um, I also really enjoy listening to audiobooks, so I have the audio, Audible app and I, I download different books and you can get lost into a 50 hour long book so easily that can last you know, over a week and uh, once you're lost in a story you really forget about doing the work.